hello folks welcome to my channel so in the previous video what we have seen uh, basically in the part 3 we have seen how to launch several tasks with the help of executor services if you have not watched my previous uh, part so I suggest you to watch that first before coming to this video you could find the link somewhere in the top right corner so what we will do in this video uh, we will see how to launch all these tasks but with the help of completable stage APIs So what we will do, we will switch to the IntelliJ. So we have this method run async and it is the same method previously as when we launch all those tasks in the executor services. But there is one main difference here and the difference is this previously we have callables, now we have the suppliers there is not much difference between suppliers and the callables it's just that supplier has an abstract method that doesn't declare any exception so your ex supplier cannot throw any exceptions by the way callables can throw exceptions that is the major difference between supplier and the callable and by the way this is a probably better that supplier doesn't throw anything so supplier can be directly converted into callables by just doing this so it's nice so let me just go to suppliers so I have these five suppliers which needs to be uh, needs to be executed with the help of completion stage APIs we have the same we have collected all our suppliers in some kind of a task list and now what we need to do what we need to do we need to submit all those suppliers to our completion stage APIs so let me do that Supplier, quotation, task, and task list. Completion future, completable future. We have a very nifty method supply async. I just need to supply my suppliers. And I have supplier here, task. And what it returns to me? Let's check. It return me some kind of a completable feature is basically the same as feature but with additional functionalities so basically this completable feature implements your future interface as well as completion stage interface I just needs to have some kind of a array list where I could add all these feature the way we were doing in this executor services I need to create this futures array list and what kind of array list it should be of course it needs to be completable future quotation so we are done with this now of course what I need to do I need to iterate over this futures and get the results Previously what we did in the future we have a blocking call called get and we have in the completable feature also this get method we could call this or uh, but I think so we have thrown this interpret exceptions and execution exceptions because of this the code was compiling now the code is not compiling I need to throw an exception here which is some kind of uh, not so nice uh, completable feature has a very nice method called join and this join is same as get block just that it doesn't throw any exception it's throw an exception but those are unchecked exceptions so we do not need to throw in our method signature 
of course this should return me some kind of a quotation and I need to add all these quotation in some kind of a list of course I need to create this list now quotations and what kind of a list it has to be some kind of a new array list and it has to be of type quotation I think so we have achieved a lot of thing here and now this has become a very classical stream question but this needs to stream min by comparator dot comparing and quotation get value and I have to open the optional now the way we were doing and this has to be where best quotation and now I could so we are done and let me run this program run async first we will run separately we will comment out these two and let's see the result yep asynchronous it's running server a sometimes server C but it is giving me somewhere around 508 milliseconds so it's time is took to run my code is 508 milliseconds now we will run along with the synchronous and concurrent and let's see time analysis so synchronous is taking way more than the concurrent and the asynchronous and concurrent and asynchronous are taking the same time same amount of time we could run again and again to check this it's more or less same let's wrap this video we saw how to launch several tasks with the help of competition stage APIs by this time you may be wondering what's the deal with this completion stage APIs we are using the same patterns the way we were using the executive services the time in which our code got executed is roughly the same but wait a minute in the coming videos we will see we can do much more things with this completion stage apis than compared to what we could do with the executive services so stay tuned for the next series of videos till then bye bye and please like this video, subscribe this channel and share this video to all your Java enthusiasts who love this kind of uh, asynchronous programming.